Hello, Mr. Angus Wangus back. Sorry it took me so long to get back into this. Life kept kicking me in the crotch. <laughs> Anyways, things kept coming up, man. It's like one after the other, but had time this morning. Modified the wheel. Just start off by telling you what I've done. Um, changed the windings. So now I have, there's four windings uh, on the cast iron toroid. They're wrapped 90 degrees. There's 250 turns. This is like 18 gauge. 250 turns in each spot. Now I had to modify the wheel because last time um, the wheel wouldn't even turn. <laughs> and I had the, um, like, there was two stacks of magnets, right? The same wheel. So I took one stack off and with two on there the event horizon was like right next to the iron so this is better now it turns and you'll see it still doesn't want to turn it takes more energy um, for it to turn it and you'll see uh, what's going on now what I have I think that's all I want to that's all I really changed was took a magnet off um, to free it up a bit, change the windings like I had talked about in the last video. Uh, now what I have is I have an AC voltmeter uh, straight on the outputs. Um, now I have it why it looks really um, confusing probably maybe if you can even see it. <laughs> but um, it's wired just like I had it with my crumb ray type setup with the U-Core and I have an AC voltmeter right on the coil outputs but I have them coming whoop, to my bridge rectifier setup here I'm just using this one this one's just from before and there's a switch and it's off now um, and on the output DC output from the rectifier I have my ammeter and we're all ready to go. Oh, I have input to the uh, motor amps. So I'm going to give it a flick. Let her get up to speed here. Now, well, I don't have the circuit closed, so there's not going to be any current showing. But right away, uh, last video I didn't have any voltage. It didn't deflect at all. Now it wasn't going very fast either, so um, but right now it's showing almost four volts. I think it goes to four volts. I just had it going. I have it turned uh, it's beyond fifty percent duty cycle. I'm not really sure where it is, but it's put letting in uh, seven hundred and ten milliamps, somewhere near seven hundred milliamps to the motor and that's at about 7-8 volts probably being that it's just over 50% duty cycle we'll check the speed I think it gets up to 693 there we go, she's up to speed so 693 You'll see we <laughs> I really won't need the uh, tack if you have your speakers on normal volume. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the switch here, closing the circuit through the ammeter. The voltage will go to zero. And if you listen, you'll hear the wheel stop. <laughs> here we go. So I'm going to flip the switch now. There we go. Zero volts. Initially, it gives a great, you know, amperage, but it the wheel is bogged. Name this right. The wheel's going to stop, basically, probably. Well, maybe not stop. But drastically reduce the speed. So, didn't get the effect. Now it's wired the same as I had with the U cores. Um, solid iron so I don't know what to say I was excited about this idea thinking that it, it's going to be the same 
but it's showing me that it's not giving me the same reaction and the input to the little motor has gone up as well and so let's see Three hundred and seventy-seven RPM from six hundred and ninety-three. So I gotta say, not too sure about the toroid setup. Uh, last video I called it a, a Stargate. I just put that because of the way that it looked. It looked like that old movie to me. I don't really know if anyone has a machine called a Stargate or something like that. That's not what I meant. So. Anyways, someone had asked about that. But there you go. Wanted to make a video of this. Again, just got it together. Very preliminary. But, mm, no reaction at all. So, I'm going to sit and meditate tonight. And uh, do some brainstorming. Thinking about it. And which direction I want to go. Um, sorry about the tangent, I guess. But, um... I, I really want to explore that because I thought it would be uh, connected. But I'm not getting the same reaction. Um, I'm not disappointed that I took the time to do this. Um, because I wanted to see for myself. But Anywho, now I'm showing you. <laughs> there you go. I'll be back with another video. Hopefully uh, life doesn't bug me anymore. With little tasks that come up all the time. I've pretty much dropped out of society and I don't know how you guys deal with it daily with all that <laughs> extra stuff that I've given up. But jeez, drive me bananas. Anyways, I say this at the end of every video, but I think I'm going to have more time now to um, investigate my things. Um, wow, I still have straightening up to do out here. But. Um, going to be getting back to the U-Core. I'm going to make another U-Core with that iron. I don't see it. Oh, here it is. I have a nice piece of iron. I'm going to bend that into the U and uh, continue down that path and see what happens. I should have another video soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.